Alright, I'm back. Welcome back everyone. Today I'm here with the DS64 Gen 2 and I'm going to show you how to switch out the plastic switch for the metal switch right here. Okay. So the first step is, as you can see I have the metal, uh, I have the DS64 right here. Let's take out the anti popcorn. When I do that, I'm going to flip it over. So just flip it over safely. I'm going to make the front face me later on so that I can flip it backwards. Now as you can see there are two screws here, one here and one here. We're going to remove that. There we go. Comes out. Same thing for here as well. So sometimes it's hard because it rolls. So a trick would be to tighten it and then press down and there you have it. Comes out. There. Now, quick tip before you want to take this out, just note that it's going to be hanging around here. You do not want to scratch your grinder in any way. So, get a cloth, whichever you feel preferable with a thin cloth, microfiber is fine. If you have a grip mat that works too, that's what I'm using. Here, okay, I've got three caps right here, they're all zip tied together. So, cut them off. Be very, very careful. Okay. There, done. Now, also be careful not to let this thing drop inside, or it's going to be another headache. Okay. As you go along, try not to let anything drop inside. Now, so we're going to remove the switch right here. How are we going to do that? Um, I'm going to pack these two out. Okay, that's one out. There we go. Both are out. Next, unscrew this. Okay, great. Take it out. Install your metal switch. Okay. Put that in here. Screw cap fits perfectly on this so you don't have to worry about it. But if it comes with but if you get one with that comes with a screw cap, sure, go ahead, use it as well. It's fine. You can always save the spare parts for later. Great. Now as you can see there are two wires. There's the red. There's the blue. We'll do it one by one. Don't worry if the screws come off, you can put them back later. Okay, great. So this part here is a little bit tricky. What you want to do is not press too hard. If you press too hard, it's going to be very tough to remove the metal piece that's inside that's holding it together. So just a tight, just a, just a light squeeze, right? Just a light squeeze and then you wriggle it out. Don't worry, take your time with this process, it's fine. There you go, and it came out. As you can see, wires are still intact and you've got that metal piece there. Now that metal piece, you want to make sure that it's not completely pressed out, okay? It's not completely flattened. If it's too flat, you're going to have to cut the wire and then you're going to have to probably do a bit of wire stripping so that you get new phrase again for you to twist it for the twist and reconnect the wires. One word of advice, try not to twist towards here. If you do and you lose the piece once it comes loose, it can fall inside here. If it falls inside here, it's going to be another headache for you to shake the whole thing out. You just do not want any of the additional hassle. So somewhere that's open enough. Okay. There you go. So don't be too intimidated by it. And don't worry if you fail, we'll show you another way on how to do it. If you know, it clamps too hard but now let me continue with this okay so you've got the red wire out this is the perfect opportunity for you to connect the red wire from the new switch I'll come with this tip okay this is just an extra uh, incident that they give to protect the tape it's removable all you need to do is just pull it up there it comes out easily 
Also, another word of advice when you pull out, pull out away from the machine, not inside the machine. If not, it's gonna go in. You might have to take it out later. Alright, now we're just twisting this. Okay. I'm just gonna twist it like this. Any of the wires that were supposed to be connected here, just twist them all together. Okay, now if you have one of these, that's great. If you have something that's similar, that works almost like a screw cap, sure, use that as well. But we're gonna show you how to use this. So, so as you can see, there's a metal casing. So what you wanna do, put this through. You can face it towards yourself also, so that you can see yourself pushing it all the way in. Push it as much as you can. Once you don't think you can go any further, that's okay. Grab a plier. Something handy like this would be great. Allows you to apply as much force as possible. Just a hand tight squeeze would be great. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, if you do a gentle tuck like this, and it holds it in place, that's great. Keep that there. You are done with the first wire. Now we're moving on to the second one. Same thing I did for the previous one. I'm going to do it here as well. Just a tight squeeze. You can see through it. You can sort of see through the translucent cap how tight and thin the metal piece is. You don't want to make it any any more flattened. Just a just a light squeeze. Okay. There. Done. Okay. Remember, away from it, away from it. You see, one of the wires is already out. And you can see that it actually got pulled out. Okay, so you probably need to do wire stripping. It happens sometimes. But don't worry about it, it's not the end of the world. First thing first, let's focus on this. There you have it. Okay, that's how it's done. Okay, now, wire them a bit what they're going to teach you right now right, is probably a bit of the backup in case you end up pulling out the wires as well if you have a uh, wire trimmer if you will this should help so you can see the movement it's pulling the wires aside so it takes out the insulation so there you go remaining wire this one connect all three of them together okay and then try to wear gloves you don't want to hurt yourself through the metal wires these are still sharp twist them up as much as you can do a test yep they're all connected here take one of these again right you should be able to see the hole with the metal ring inside put it through much as you can and clamp there you have it test now a bit of house cleaning okay you get a zip tie which I have over here okay you can tie them all together if you want this is just personal preference really You're done. There you have it. Switch is installed. All you need to do is put it back. Yeah, the groove aligns with the front of the bottom lid. So this should be the placement. Okay. It should sit nicely. If you don't think it sits nicely, it's probably because there's something sticking out or preventing it from doing so. Here. Correct. So make sure everything is in. See they're aligned. Yep. Shouldn't be moving around already. And you can see that the holes are aligned. If the holes are aligned, you're good to go. And with that, you have done the metal button switch for your DF64 Gen 2. Thank you so much and see you next time.